question as borders opened up that we are in a global race for the same pool of talent with competitors around the entire world. Now, in my view, Canada is winning that race, and we might be winning it, but I think we can win it by an even larger margin. So today, we're unveiling our new strategy to attract some of the most talented tech professionals from all over the world to come to Canada. Now, I've been given only a few minutes to share six new and improved ideas. And folks, fasten your seatbelts, because this is a big deal. Here we go. Uh, first, we are launching a new and dedicated pathway for permanent residents that's specifically available to employees and workers in the STEM sectors. Second, under the Global Skills Strategy, this is a program that was launched about five years ago and was extremely successful to bring talented people to this country, but it was hampered by pandemic processing delays. A new application that comes in today, we expect we can process that work permit in just two weeks so companies can have access to the talent that they need when they need it. Third, the Startup Visa Program, which creates a pathway to permanent residency for entrepreneurs who create companies that will hire Canadians, has been suffering from certain challenges. This is a program with extraordinary potential we've not been able to realize simply because there was a flaw in program design. We receive more applications than we have spaces available. We've recently increased the number of spaces from 1,000 a year to 3,500. But going forward, we're going to prioritize applications within that system by focusing on features like whether a company's got capital committed or whether it's received an endorsement for a trusted partner. But for those who are in the queue, we've got good news. We're also going to issue open work permits for three years for them and their families to be in Canada while they wait for their applications to be completed. Now, these are some new ideas. Uh, those are some ideas with existing programs that we're improving, but we get some brand new information to share as well. Over the course of this year, Canada is going to be, to be developing a specific stream for some of the world's most highly talented people that will be able to come to Canada to work for tech companies, whether they have a job offer or not. Fifth, we are going to be launching a digital nomad strategy, which is going to allow people who have a foreign employer to come work in Canada for up to six months, live in communities in this country, and spend money in communities in this country, and should they receive a job offer while they're here, we're going to allow them to continue to stay and work in Canada. Six, and finally, we've been watching very closely what's been going on in the tech sector in the United States. Where we've seen a public narrative around layoffs, we've been having private conversations about opportunities. Going forward, as of July 16th, we will have a stream that will allow 10,000 H-1B visa holders in the United States to come and work in Canada. The reality, folks, you've got the ideas but you need the talent. You've told us that and we've been listening. We're gonna do everything that we can to position Canada as the destination where your ideas can become a reality. Thank you, Collision, for the opportunity to share this news.